The future is frightening, at least it is in the Tomorrow War, when a group of time travelers appear in the present to gather allies for a coming conflict, Chris Pratt and friends arm up to face what's coming. Here's everything you need to know about the Tomorrow War. The journey of the Tomorrow War from idea to reality began a few years ago back in mid-February 2019. At the time, Variety reported that Marvel Cinematic Universe superstar Chris Pratt, known to Marvel fans everywhere as Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, was in talks to team with director Chris McKay for a movie entitled Ghost Draft. It was set to be a rousing sci-fi actioner meant to be released in cinemas under Paramount Pictures and Skydance Media, the same banner behind the Mission Impossible and rebooted Star Trek franchises, as well as movies including the anticipated Top Gun sequel, Top Gun Maverick. The movie, formerly known as Ghost Draft, was slated to begin production per Variety's 2019 report sometime in the summer of that year. That didn't end up happening, but after a few months of the film's team rounding out the cast and settling on a title, principal photography finally kicked off in September 2019. It's clear that the movie first announced as Ghost Draft at some point got its new title of The Tomorrow War, but the minds behind this movie didn't immediately land on The Tomorrow War when thinking of a new name for the project. According to the film's lead himself, there were a ton of different title options tossed around before The Tomorrow War emerged as the winner. On November 9, 2019, Chris Pratt, who signed on to serve as an executive producer on the movie in addition to starring in it, took to Instagram to share a snazzy black-and-white photo from the set of the film. He announced that Ghost Draft got a brand new name, offering a rundown of all the titles that he and the film's team considered, and apparently a few joke ones for good measure. Running down the options, Pratt wrote, we went through Generation Alien, World War A, Generation Gone, Saving Private Ryalian, World War Z2 but with A's, not Z's, Horizon White Spike, Hero Movie brought to you by Verizon, Jurassic Draft, Generation Draft, Miller Genuine Draft, City Slickers, Alien Dawn, Rapture Dawn, Apocalypse Dawn, Hero Dawn, Destiny War, Saving Tomorrow, The Tomorrow War, and that's when it hit me. We're calling it The Tomorrow War. For what it's worth, we're pretty sure Saving Private Ryalian would have been a blockbuster hit. With a title locked in and shooting underway, The Tomorrow War was on track for its planned December 25, 2020 release. Then a little thing called the COVID-19 pandemic happened, and the movie's release date was pushed back. The Tomorrow War had reportedly wrapped principal photography in January 2020 before the pandemic forced both movies and television shows to suspend production until further notice. Since the movie was reportedly in the can, the delay wasn't an issue of not having the required footage, but rather that there was no longer a good time on the horizon to premiere the movie in theaters. Another reason for The Tomorrow War being delayed was because other movies on Paramount and Skydance's film schedule were affected by the pandemic-induced production shutdowns. Those films had to have their release dates moved, so The Tomorrow War's release was put on pause as well as the studios reassessed their strategies. Plus, it was April 2020 when Paramount and Skydance executives were making these decisions to delay films. At the time, theaters across the world were closing indefinitely, and many questioned whether anyone would step foot into a cinema at all in 2020. On April 2, 2020, Deadline confirmed that Top Gun Maverick had been moved to December 23, 2020, and The Tomorrow War had been pushed to an undetermined date. Top Gun Maverick ended up moving its release date again, of course, and still isn't out yet. But three weeks after that initial report, Variety reported that The Tomorrow War would debut on July 23, 2021. But more change was on the horizon. The Tomorrow War endured being pulled off the release schedule and sitting on the shelf for a several-month delay, but its journey to the big screen was thrown even further for a loop in January 2021, when Deadline got word that the film wouldn't be going to the big screen at all. The outlet reported on January 12th that the major streaming services of the world had screened The Tomorrow War that weekend, a showing likely motivated by lingering concern over the safety of seeing films in theaters and the odds of people showing up in blockbuster numbers. Skydance, not Paramount, was said to have been pushing to sell The Tomorrow War to a streamer, and Amazon Studios was keen on picking it up. Deadline noted that the company aggressively offered $200 million, though the deal wasn't set in stone just yet. It wasn't until April 2021 that everything was made official, and The Tomorrow War was officially a streaming exclusive set to hit Amazon Prime Video, though not on July 23rd, as originally expected. The Tomorrow War is scheduled to arrive on Amazon Prime Video on Friday, July 2nd, 2021, just in time for the July 4th holiday weekend. Welcome to Earth! 
other than the summer weather, the movie doesn't appear to have any direct competition on this day when it comes to similar movies. The Boss Baby family business, Universal Pictures' follow-up to the 2017 animated film The Boss Baby, is launching in theaters and on the Peacock streaming site on July 2nd as well, but there probably won't be very much overlap between the people watching the new Boss Baby movie and those tuning into The Tomorrow War. The film also doesn't have to worry about Marvel Studios' long-awaited Black Widow stealing its thunder. Starring Scarlett Johansson in her first solo outing as the character, Black Widow will open in theaters and be available to stream on Disney Plus via Premiere Access on July 9th. That gives The Tomorrow War a full week to shine and dominate news headlines before the MCU movie becomes the talk of the internet. Stop talking. Listen. Sorry, I, I mean, when I'm nervous, I talk. I'm like 90, 97 on the nervous scale. Now, since the film is an Amazon Prime Video exclusive, there isn't a very great chance that The Tomorrow War will receive a second release date on other video on demand platforms for quite some time after it's released, if at all. If you aren't an Amazon Prime subscriber and you've been meaning to catch up on Chris Pratt's filmography, you'll want to consider picking up a subscription. So who's in The Tomorrow War anyhow, apart from Chris Pratt? Well, let's get the leading man out of the way first. In The Tomorrow War, Chris Pratt plays Dan Forrester, an Army veteran and current high school teacher who's sent 30 years into the future, to the year 2051, to fight an all-out war against a mysterious enemy and do his part to save the world. Glow alum Betty Gilpin plays Dan's wife, Emmy, while Ryan Kira Armstrong portrays his daughter, Muri. Joining Dan on this planet-saving mission is a brilliant scientist portrayed by Dexter and The Handmaid's Tale actress Yvonne Strahovski, as well as Dan's estranged father played by Oscar-winning actor J.K. Simmons. Simmons is coming hot off of the success of Amazon's animated super series Invincible, in which he voiced the super-powered alien Nolan Grayson, a.k.a. Omni-Man. The plot of The Tomorrow War is a bit of a unique take on time travel stories. It follows military veteran and loving father Dan, who comes to a child's birthday party in order to see his daughter. While watching a live soccer game with his family, a strange event interrupts the broadcast. Soldiers from the future open a portal in the center of the soccer field. They claim that in 30 years' time, humanity will wage a losing war against an overwhelming alien force. With too few humans left to combat the force in 2051, soldiers from that time have come to the year 2021 to conscript people in order to save the humans of tomorrow. We are fighting a war 30 years in the future. Is this a joke? Soon after this occurs, people begin getting drafted into what's known as the Tomorrow War. Dan's wife Emmy is one of these unlucky few, but he volunteers to go in her stead. Fixed with a time-traveling device on his wrist, Dan and the other soldiers travel to the future in order to save the world from a race of animalistic aliens. Speaking of the aliens in The Tomorrow War, they're quite gnarly-looking. That's thanks to Ken Bartelmi, the creature designer who brought the film's extraterrestrial monsters to life. You may not instantly recognize Bartelmi's name, but you've likely seen his work on the silver screen in some of the biggest movies of the last few years. He's worked as a creature designer, character designer, or concept artist on everything from the Maze Runner movies, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and Detective Pikachu to The Predator, The Nun, and Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Most recently, Bartelmi's creature designing work was on glorious display in 2021's Godzilla vs. Kong. Looking ahead, Bartelmi will be lending his talents to the Marvel Cinematic Universe entry Thor Love and Thunder and the Aquaman sequel Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The trailers for The Tomorrow War tease that the aliens will be fearsome, but viewers will have to wait until the movie debuts on July 2nd to get the full scope of just how dangerous they really are. Chatting with Variety in a June 2021 interview, The Tomorrow War writer Zach Dean and star executive producer Chris Pratt opened up about the film's themes. Dean explained that although it may appear to be about an ideology or patriotism or loyalty to protect your country, it's actually about a very literal desire to save your own kids, which is what Dan's primary motivation for participating in the Tomorrow War is. In other words, this whole future war idea is in service of a very simple message. As Dean put it, we're not asking for an abstract idea, it's about parenting. Pratt also noted, You are dealing with people who are making life decisions based not on the life that they could lead, but rather the world that they're leaving for their children. It's a different theme to think about someone being drafted away from their children rather than children being drafted away from their parents. As for how Dan's relationship with his estranged father shaped his dynamic with his own daughter, Pratt explained that Dan is blaming his father for all of his issues, pinning everything on his dad not being around when he was growing up. But when Dan comes to realize that he's a lot like his father, things begin to change for the better. 
When we look at our parents as these deities in our life, we come to a moment in our life where we realize, oh wow, that was just a kid who had a kid. You realize, okay, now I'm in the same dilemma, my kids are going to look at me like I'm some sort of infallible person, and of course I'm not. The only things you need to see The Tomorrow War when it debuts are an Amazon Prime account and some time set aside to stream the movie once it debuts on July 2nd. But there's a rule that lead actor Chris Pratt requests you abide by if you want to have the best viewing experience possible. It's simple. Pretend you're in a movie theater and turn your phone off. Speaking in an interview with Digital Spy, Pratt said, You can still have an amazing viewing experience watching this on Prime. I would just advocate that people turn their phones off, sit down, commit to watching all the way through, Watch it at home, but pretend you're at the movie theater. Turn your phone off and sit back and enjoy because it's freaking awesome. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about upcoming movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.